here we are entering the lab. That's our shaker table over there. Um, our autoclave. Here's our clean room. Laminar flow hood. And over here, we have our spawn room. We'll go take a look inside there in a second. So our heating and cooling systems for it. And outside, come around, workstation. Supplies. And wash station. Here's our little culture fridge. This is where we keep all of our cultures. You can see we have quite a bit going on right now. Um, we also make a lot of clean agar plates that we sell. So let's go take a look inside the spawn room. Okay, entering the spawn room. The light bulb's out right now, but uh, we don't need light in here. This is where we keep all of our inoculated spawn for it to fully colonize the bags. This is a bunch of oyster mushroom. We have a couple different varieties of oysters that we're growing right now, as well as some lion's mane and other stuff. There's a bunch of jars that are done in the back there. So that's our spawn room, our incubation room. Um, this stays a great temperature. We keep it around um, 66 to 70 right now. So here we are walking up to our 8x10 walk-in cooler. This is another little work area where we do a lot of uh, the straw um, chipping and bagging. We're getting our systems kind of designed, implemented right now. So this 8x10 walk-in cooler we have gotten it all ready to grow mushrooms in. So we have all our rack systems in and a fogging system. There's some ducting. We still need to do a little bit of work on the ducting. There's our Aqua Fog 400. It's our misting system. And we could fit quite a bit of mushroom bags in here. I think what uh, we would like to do eventually is turn this space into our dehydrated room. Uh, Far West Fungi has been doing that method, taking walk-in coolers and freezers and converting them into dehydrating rooms.